lately. Niggas hate, but I don't get no fuck. I'm on the block with the guys who be wild as fuck. Wild as fuck. Roll it hard and we pulled up. Fuck the ops, we ain't worried about it. We pulled up. Pulled up. We got big shit, the big shots, chopper fold up. Fold up. Niggas scared, looking like J Rock, but we rolled up. Rolled up. Fake niggas, pussy niggas can't roll with us. Roll with us. Smoking blacks with dope when we roll up. Brick squad, the police can't control us. Niggas fake, we know them and they know us. Big shit, make noise, you heard Rico. No lack, 30 on me everywhere I go. I heard niggas snitching, don't get tied up. On the fucking A, Bird Street, what it is. You will get your ass knocked off at three with your motherfucking kids. Oh, I had sex to do the motherfucking job. Just problem with a bra, she'll scrape the fucking yard. You niggas straight frauds, it's nothing new to me. I gang bang your ass like a bus in the streets. I stay totin' heat in the motherfucking shack. You niggas already know you don't wanna fucking die. So stay away from Bird Street, stay away from the fucking crew. Before I run up on you and lay your ass down, who? Neefy did that, <laughs> Bird Team did it. You niggas already know you better get with it. Nigga don't wanna see us when we go off. Go off like the playoffs, get back and we get off. Yeah, like a nut, nigga, what? Nigga, nigga what? I call them goons up, they hopping out them army trucks. Bird Street, bitch, yeah. Y'all ain't ready for us. We like state property, nigga. Get down and lay down. Clap your fucking moms up and make her ass frown. <laughs> Where my niggas at? Ave First Street. We on the motherfucking map. <laughs> that stood over shorty mom is home go get back the man that stood over her mom and clapped her and i can talk about this this is public documents you spoke about this yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. take laugh about this you know this is real shit. i can speak about this this public documents you beat that you home now what, 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 but you know the nigga that did that to her mom you don't want no way that's not 
Nah, I'm not even gonna ask boy that. Hey, hey. So if you beat that, if, hey. if, if, if you recently just beat the case, yo, my yo, boy, he beat one, he beat two. He beat two. I even know. Look, check this out. Check this out. We all oh, in, bro. Shorty is. No, you not a man. You like butt. Shorty is a girl, bro. Y'all was on here trolling her about her OG. Talking about dude. Ain't nobody trolling her. You brought up a name. That was hat. That was hat. Right. That was hat. He was trolling her about her OG and everything. So, yeah, I said, fuck you. Fuck you talking about. Ooh. I said, fuck you. I said, fuck you. You said, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ain't nobody. You gotta hide it. Cause then you really ain't do it. You really ain't do it. You really ain't do it. You know? We ain't even finna do our. I'm saying, what you talking Yeah, you. Yeah! 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 Stop playing with me like that. Yeah! What I told you, brother. I said, when the bullet get up here, his energy gonna change, right? Like that. But you gonna let these niggas over here gas you up? Gas me up. You was a good one. Because you talking about you claim didn't do it. Didn't do it. You didn't do it. Where you from? Where you from? I'm from Wells. Yeah! See, now you gonna let them play. You gonna let them play. Play. Bro, you in Atlanta, boy. You in Atlanta. You in Atlanta with the tranny and I'm the faggots, bro. Ducky and shit. Fuck, is you talking about? You in that? Ducky and shit, boy. Don't do that. You keep talking about Paul, little Reese. Paul Reese for what? Reese don't spit in niggas' butts like you, nigga. Fuck you, mean call Paul Reese, boy. Call phone them. Why you keep telling them call phone them? So we can tell him. So we can tell him. Why y'all still tell him? Before we little greasy don't, don't spit in niggas' ass you like you, I'm boy. Ready, you got it. Yo. Yo, you oh, joking yeah, around. Where yeah, you yeah, from? Yeah. Where are you from in Inglewood? Where are you from? I'm not from Inglewood, man. So where's you from? The Hunters? From the Hunters, guy. Where? I used to, to mama, live on Stewart. I used to live on Stewart. Where you from? I was on the next block. So why? Never seen you. I don't know. This shit is crazy. I don't know. Why you ain't never seen me? I don't know. You wasn't one of them niggas. That's why. Because even when Rico Goofy asked you to be with us, you wasn't there. Yeah, you sound crazy as hell. Right there. You wasn't with us when Rico Goofy asked you with us either. Yeah, when that whole fucking fame tour popped off, you was not around. Bro. I, was, I was locked up. I was locked up. Quite yeah, exactly. Hours. Getting your ass finished. Uh -huh. A nigga never played with me like that on bro. Don't do that. Bro. Don't do niggas that. Niggas always play with you like don't that. Where, why yeah. you don't want to tell niggas where you don't from? Don't do that. You keep showing that fake ass chain that you ordered. Bro, you keep hey, showing that hey, fake yeah. ass chain that you ordered offline. Hey. Acting like you did something hey, to a nigga, boy. Hey, who's Yo, that? You know what's name? Cash, he on the phone with Reese. Hold on. Big Pluto. The fact that nigga who like spitting in butts. Some nigga, some nigga from like, he said, he said, you know him. Tell him the nigga that said he talked about your forte. Look at him. Look at him. Ah, look at his face. Yeah. Tell the nigga that said he talked about your forte. What he say? Tell him the nigga that said he talked about your forte. What he say? <laughs> what he say? <laughs> you on live front? You don't say little piece. Oh, you in trouble? Shit with me right now. We eat cat, we eat cat, love that prodigal. Can't wait on the coke, them blows for you. We eat cat, we eat cat, love that prodigal. Yeah, we got troll, purple, red. We eat cat, we eat cat, love that prodigal. Got X, got speed, acid, cocaine. We eat cat, we eat cat, love that prodigal. Got text, them nice. Celebrating first of the month, that's when the fucking buildings pump. Niggas get high all the time, money ain't right, then get stumped. On the lane, hollering out blows, no. niggas on the back told me no. no. Don't some shit he don't wanna hit, he a motherfucking fan of me. It's cool, I'm trying to maintain, trying to do my thing at the spot. Shorty waiting on me, got 50x pills bagged on top. Wanna know what kind of X make you get wild, crazy sex? Purple double stacks, yellow patches, blue magic coppers, that's what's best. Shorty now with that. It all night, yeah, that's true. Get the best product on the market's work, but don't sleep, got a tight crew. Street politics on the low, kicking in your motherfucking dough. Running like we never ate before. I'm eating kid with them low we intro. Eat
success, man. That's all I'm going to say. I give a shout out to everybody from 30 motherfucker film, low end motherfucker production, straight like them, my niggas in the Iggy's. Yeah, these my niggas, motherfucker. Don't think I flip flop because I'm standing 35th in the Iggy's. Yeah, these my niggas, 35th slash Iggy niggas, motherfucker. Y'all can't get it. We can get it, motherfucker. Have a time we want some parties. Y'all niggas won't be for what? Because we can get it, motherfucker. Stop hating to get your weight up, motherfucker. Come down here and eat with us then, motherfucker. That motherfucker see every time we go so far, it's a problem, nigga. Because we paying all the bitches playing that motherfucker. But sure, I'm the only female first lady in all this shit, nigga. And ain't nobody gonna take the top of my motherfucker shit. Straight like that, man. Straight like that is straight wrong. Bring y'all hoes. No, no, no. We got goons on deck. The show, show, show. Play with me, get hit in your nose, nose, nose. I keep that bread for show, show, show. And now let's go, 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 go. Fuck wrong with y'all niggas, man. We getting shit. Shout out to all my niggas. Trey ball me. All y'all, man. I love y'all. And I'm going hard. Princess Streeter, a.k.a. Seth, was a gang affiliate of the Gangster Disciples on the low end of Chicago. Seth grew up in the Burr, which stretches from 39th to 35th to Michigan to South Indiana. Alongside repping her own gang territory, she also repped Trayball which was the last remaining building in Stateway Gardens at 3651 South Federal at the Harold Icky Homes. She also clicked with Rock Boys in the Icky's building, 2320 South Federal and State Street. 90 days before the Icky's were demolished, Sash featured herself on DJ Monty's Say Goodbye to the Icky's Project Movement, in which Sash reminisced with the guys, however, showed up to get to the last of the drug money that moved through the Icky's. Here is Sess hanging out at the Icky's to show support before the builders were demolished. This prompts Sess and them to go hang out and support the movement in the Icky's. Also featured in the same clip is 11 year old Richard Edwards in the white shirt to the left. Richard Edwards, aka 757 Suno was later killed six years later in 2016 at the age of 18. His body was found on the sidewalk on 35th and South Halsted. After leaving a party six blocks away, 757 Suno and his friends noticed they were being followed by members who were at the party, on which they pulled up next to the van and opened fire, killing 757 Suno and fleeing the scene. Suno's friends panicked and threw Suno from the van, leaving him dead on the block of 700 West 36th Street, which is near 35th and South Halstead, where they ultimately find the van in the alley. His friends were never identified. A black revolver was found next to him. It was suspected that his friends were riding dirty or had warrants and didn't want to be involved in a murder. It was identified by members at the party that there was an argument dispute between members from 757 and Welch World relating to the deaths of Welch, Ness, and Sess. Here is a clip from the murder scene. Oh. Oh. Get 
Not only did his mother lose 757 Suno, she also lost her other son, 24-year-old Darius D. Sharp, aka 757 Muno, who was found guilty of murder in the shooting death of Brunel Green, a Minneapolis native to Chicago. Days before 757 Muno was arrested for murder, he was spotted on CTV cameras losing a fight in the tobacco store in which he came back later that night through an alley and fired 20 more shots at the assailant and missed. He came back the next day and fired 20 more shots from the alley and he still missed the target. However, six days later he fired 30 more shots from the same alley, ultimately killing Brunel Green and shooting two others. He was ultimately sentenced to 30 years for second degree murder and aggravated battery. While Sess repped The Bird, she also repped World World, or as she referred to it, 035 Icky Motherfuckers, which was in reference to two sets clicked up with each other from 35th and 23rd on Federal. Not only did Sess rep World World, members from Rock Boys also rep World World, as members such as Rock Boy Marlo and Rock Boy Dirty D. However, both Marlo and Dirty D were both shot and killed with Marlo being killed by the police in 2009. War War was not a gang, but a set within the Icky's projects of 2320. If you lived in building 2320, you repped War War. Rock Boys and 035 would meet at 2320 to gang in the building and sell drugs. They eventually started referring to themselves as 035 Icky, which is three sets, 035 in Indiana, Rock Boys, and World World, which are members who lived in the building of 2320. Rock Boys were members from 27th and South State at the Dearborn Project homes. The females called themselves 27 Street Girls. In 2009, Rock Boy Low was shot and killed at a dice game in the Icky Project building of 2200 by a member from Psycho City. Psycho City members are from the building of 2200 and the Ickies. Every week, building members 2200 Psycho City and 2320 World World will meet in the hallway and shoot dice. However, Psycho City member Lil D crapped out rolling seven with 5,000 on the line to Rock Boy Low and refused to pay up. So Low pulled out a Glock and pointed it at Lil D and said, stop playing with me, you lost, pay up. As Lowe's heard a noise, he turned around and Lil D pulled out a gun and shot Lowe three times in the side. Lowe was then rushed to Michael Reese Hospital where he passed away. Lowe passed away from injuries he sustained six days later at Michael Reese Medical Center on 2929 South Ellis. Before a war could break out between Psycho City and Rock Boys, Sess and an OG from the Ickies was able to speak with both sides and hash it out before each side went to war with each other and both sides let it go. Sess and Neef were the heart of their own gang and the Burr, aka Ab 037, for which was on 37th in Indiana. They were at war with So Icy, aka Burr Gang, on 33rd in South Cottage Grove. However, the road to war between So Icy Bird Gang and AF-037 did not happen in a vacuum, but accumulated over time, which led to a chain of reaction of murder. So let me take you down the low end. January 6 of 2006. Bird Gang member Stefan Holloman, aka So Icy Steph, was walking on 350 East 41st Street when two men walked up to him and shot him three times in the chest and fled the scene on foot. His death was painful to his community. To Kayla Walsh hashtag justice for Steph. Three years later. Two members from AF-037 made a diss on dissing 18 year old Stefan Holloman on a mixtape in 2007, a which did not sit right with so icy gang members. 
However, nobody's dropped behind the diss track and the war between So Icy and Avo 37 continue. One year later. On June 21st of 2010, police responded to a fight at Oakland Park on 35th and Lake Park Drive where police responded and found shell cases at the crime scene. Witnesses stated a car pulled up and started firing at a group of people and sped off west toward Indiana. Three days later on June 24th of 2010, a car pulled up on 43rd and South Cottage Grove in the So Icy neighborhood and opened fire on seven individuals standing outside a Chicago Cheese Steak restaurant on 4355th South Cottage Grove. Nobody was injured in the shooting. Six days later on July 1st, members from AV 037 and So Icy had bumped into each other and shots were fired at 037. However, no one was injured according to witnesses on 39th and Wabash. Witnesses told police they didn't know the individuals but knew one member of which was from So Icy said on 43rd and South Cottage. A member later stated in a post Stephen B-Day was coming up and her early B-Day would set it off. Nine days later on July 10th of 2010, Princess Streeter's cousin Jermaine Streeter was approached by an individual with a gun and shot and left dead on 35th and South Michigan. Jermaine was a member of AV 037 alongside his cousin Sess. Word got back to Sess that her cousin Jermaine Streeter had been shot and killed on 35th and South Michigan just six days later following the shootout on 43rd and South Cottage Grove, where it was rumored that Neef was the shooter and Sess allegedly the driver, according to witnesses on 43rd and South Cottage. Twelve days later, AV 037 members Seth, Neef, Lisa, Lex, and Mo, and others, met at 3804 Michigan Avenue to post a picture after his funeral and burial. Sess and Neef vowed for get back for her cousin's death. Neef would support his friend while she suffered the loss of her mother's sister's son. Seth's new get back was coming soon, and Neef agreed. A plot of no mercy was coming soon. Being that Neef attended Wendell Phillips High School on 244 East Persian Road, he knew the neighborhood very well and so did Seth. On July 25th of 2010, Seth and Neef slid down 41st, 42nd, and 43rd looking for her cousin's killer. However, Nobody was on the block. It came to a head when Seth called Neef after she got word that Anthony Welch, aka Bird Gang Gucci, of which they knew him as So Icy Welch or Welch. Him and four others was spotted by 037 AV members riding down 37th Street in Indiana, Michigan, and Wabash looking for AV members. When Neef heard that Welch was riding with them, he knew they wasn't there to scare people, but to hop out and shoot him or another of his members they were searching for. Neef wasn't going to risk his life or his gang's life any further. So we vowed to take it more seriously, at which he told three of his homies he would get up with them later, and he was spotted later that day with Sess, according to one of the members in the car. When Beef jumped off, Neef was who they called, he stated. Listen to a member from the low end of Chicago on 39th Street in Wabash from the 2010 era speak on his neighborhood and growing up in the same area as Princess and Chris, aka Neef and Sess. Been on low end my whole life. Was born in Michael Reese Hospital. Can't even come in the low end the way I came. So I tell you anything about the low end, take it to the bank. I ain't never seen no female move like Seth. I mean, you will see a woman in the uh, dungeon moving a jab. Next second, she whooping a female. Then after that, she doing a drill. She was doing what these niggas was scared to do, Weezy. I swear to God. Honey, really was Bonnie and Clyde. You know, a lot of people say that, but they was really living that. I mean, from the Ickies, you know what I'm saying, to the tray ball, to her hood on the birth. She was really doing that. She, you can even ask 27th Street girls. They know she get down. All them girls from the Ickies, even the girls in Stateway, you know what I'm saying, even the girls from my hood. Ain't nothing to talk about over there. She she was definitely the head honcho, but yeah, she was definitely first lady. She said that and she stood on that. She wore that title because she, she, she put in the work. 
She put in the work and could no other female make that same claim that she could make. So her name was cemented down there. All them hoods from the low end. She definitely a low end legend. More than a lot of these niggas y'all talk about. Yeah, I remember back in 2009, fans, you still be pulling up to the hood looking for sex. I'm like, man, y'all know she down there in the Ickies 2320 with the Rock Boys in them hallways with them clip bags, gas, thing. They flew. They ain't one what I had. They went down there to holler it up. She always had it like that. She was a true hustler. She was always about her money. On the real, from hood to hood, she had respect everywhere she went. I guess it was how she carried herself. She commanded that. But your assessment from 2320, she was down there on 27 building on the island. She was all up and down the Ickies. Not to mention the tray ball, she was everywhere. She was low, low end royalty for sure. Given the street status and reputation of Princess from her own gang members in the Burr, Rock Boys, and Trey Ball, she knew she had to turn things up and eliminate any further threat to her AV members. So her and Neef for three days straight rolled down South Cottage at 41st looking for Burr gang members. However, despite Sess and Neef sliding two weeks in a row, they were not able to see anyone standing outside as everyone always stay in for about 30 days after a body was caught. Since the murder of Jermaine, aka Maintain, aka Main, aka Crazy, so I see members stay low. While many knew Jermaine as Main, Sess and others referred to her cousin as Maintain since he was 16 years old. Others close to him called him Crazy, as that was his nickname. AV members DA stated Main was the first person to take Neef to the club. This is also another reason why Neef took his death so close to heart. 037 members stated Neef talked about it all day, even telling Seth several times while they stood there that I ain't gonna lie, this shit bothering me. And Seth responded, me too. Me too. The very next day on May 14th of 2010, police responded to a drive-by shooting on 37th and South Prairie east of the IDB Wells Elementary School in which witness stated seeing a vehicle roll down a window and fire shots towards individuals standing on South Indiana on 37th Street. Nobody was injured, but authorities stated in the Chicago Tribune that someone is trying to send a message to those guys on the block, which is Avenue 037, aka the Bird Gang. This was the straw that broke the camel's back. Seven o two p.m. Neef and Sess received a call that Gucci and another person was walking down 40th the King Drive. Neef followed up with Sess, and they. When police responded, they found Anthony Walsh laying on the ground deceased, and another person with an apparent gunshot wound to the leg. After the murder of Welch, Neef and Sess laid low for a while until the heat died down. They had to stand on business. That was for Jermaine. Sess loved Neef and Neef loved Sess. Was in no way he wasn't gonna slide for her cousin. Three weeks later, homicide detective were riding down Ave 037, handing out cars that if anyone had any information about the murder to contact them and that there was a reward for 1,000 for an arrest that lead to a conviction. Unfortunately, nobody called. After the death of Welch, his friends named the block Welch World in his honor. February 5th, 2011. After leaving Club Mr. G's on 87th and South Ashland, Zest and her sister headed to a party located on 2641 East 75th Street. However, little did they know Welch World member Tay Savage, whom they had previously shot, was following them from Club Mr. G's to get payback for being shot and his best friend Welch, aka Gucci, being killed. They parked at a bus stop so Sess could go use the ladies room. Soon as she got out the car, a man with a hoodie approached Sess and shot her five times in the chest and head and stated, I told you bitch. 
Sess was pronounced dead at Northwestern Hospital shortly after. A security guard at the club stated, Sess stated to him that her child's father shot her before she passed away. Despite this, Dwayne Tay Savage Timberlake was the number one suspect. After the murder of Sess, Tay Savage was not done with his revenge. Two months later on April 10th of 2011, Tay Savage caught Christopher Daniels, aka Me Flacken on 74th and South Vincent at a red light. He jumped out his car and shot Neef six times and fled the scene. Neef was transported to Northwestern Hospital where he passed away. Tay Savage had now killed both of Welch murder suspects. After taking a loss of two of their top members, Av was about to get get back. On July 27th of 2011, Avenue Boy member 037 Vito Richmond and Princess Streeter's brother 037 Jamal Streeter jumped out on 33rd and South Cottage and approached Steve Barron and asked, Are you from Westworld? And we just took a loss and we're ready to kill something. Steve replied, No, I am not, while covering his hand which had a tattoo of Westworld on it. Jamal stated, who killed my sister? They gon' die. We from 037, we gon' kill something for my sister. Soon as he heard that, Watch World member Steve started running as fast as he could, screaming help. Vito and Jamal jumped back in the vehicle and stated out loud, We on your ass, on sess. Watch World member Steve then told police that two members from 037 Avenue boys were going to kill him and threaten him. He ratted out Vito and Seth's brother Jamal to CPD. One week later, 037 Vito, Princess brother 037 Jamal, Princess baby daddy 037 Aramis, and Aramis brother Vince, and Aramis baby mama Michelle were hanging out in her apartment on South Michigan. When Michelle walked in from work, Aramis asked, was anyone at Metcalf Park? And she responded, yes. So Aramis told Vito and Jamal, we gonna shoot that motherfucker up if that nigga Steve from Westworld up there. So Aramis stated, we need two cars. Vince, you drive your car with Vito and Jamal, and I'm gonna ride in my girlfriend's car, and we gonna get up there, and we gonna fire that park up. We on anyone Westworld, we took too big of a loss. As they approached the park, Jamal stated, I don't see anyone up here. However, Vito recognized Westworld member Steve, so he stayed and moved. Let me show you how I get down. He rolled down the window and pointed two guns out the window and started firing, missing Steve Barron and shooting Darius Brown, an innocent bystander standing next to Steve and flees the scene in both cars. After the murder of 13-year-old Darius Brown, detectives reviewed cameras and received the license plates of both vehicles and later questioned Michelle and Vince since they were the drivers, which ultimately led to the arrest of Aramis Betcham, Vito Richmond, and Jamal Streeter, of which each was convicted of first degree murder and was given a 20 to life sentence. Shortly after the arrest of 037 Aramis, 037 Vito, and 037 Jamal, police would receive another break when an FBI informant purchased the murder weapons that were used by Vito Richmond to kill Darius Brown, of which were sold to someone he knew, or which he then purchased them from his friend to give to the FBI. The FBI would hand over the murder weapon to CPD the next day. The FBI informant name was Keith Daniels. However, he had been working with the FBI since 2007. Since he had ties to members on South Michigan, he reached out to someone who told him he had a weapon for sale, but that it had a body on it, so it was hot. When he looked, he noticed it was the same style of weapon used in the murder of Darius Brown, so he purchased the firearm under the guidance of the FBI and the ATF of the Northern District. The gun was later tested using ballistic analysis in Minneapolis, Minnesota's crime lab. It was determined that it was one of the weapons used to shoot Darius in the neck, fatally wounding him. However, Keith's life would take a tragic turn for the worse 
In April of 2013, he would agree to help assist the FBI in a RICO case to take down the Hobo Super Gang on the west side of Chicago. To hide him from the gang, the FBI relocated Keith to Doe in Illinois for his safety. However, Hobo Gang member Paris Poe Pelosi got his location and slid down on him, killing him in front of his kids in his front yard, yelling out loud, you rat. Keith's girlfriend told the FBI it was only a matter of time. Someone threw a rock through their window with a note that read, We know you snitching, you gon' die. You snitched on my brother, so I'ma send you to meet yours. Keith's brother died in 2011. The FBI agent stated, What do you mean Keith's brother died in 2011? She responded, Remember when Keith bought the murder weapon for you? That killed Darius Brown? You know, 037 Vito? Aramis and Jamal's case? They killed Darius shooting at Works War Steve? The FBI agent stated, oh yes, he bought the gun for, from the Avenue Street Boys. Yes, I remember that. Well, that's why he helped. His brother is Christopher Daniels, aka Beef. Works World killed his brother. Yes, he took down his own gang. He is an 037 Avenue Boys member. He snitched on the people retaliating for his brother and Cess. After the FBI heard that, they asked his girlfriend, did you tell on him that he was an informant? She stated, well, one time I got mad and posted on Facebook that he was a bitch and that he worked for 12, just letting everyone know he the police. However, I deleted it, but it probably was too late. I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't get him killed. Shortly after authorities booked 037 Avenue Boys for the murder of Darius Brown, they also issued two counts of first degree murder warrants for Dwayne Timberlake, aka Tay Savage, for the murders of Princess Streeter, aka Sess, and Christopher Daniels, aka Neef. However, after a long drawn out battle, the judge dropped the murder charges at discovery due to a lack of evidence filed by the state. Therefore, prosecutors dismissed the murder charges and proceeded with the previous charge of armed robbery, in which he was ultimately convicted of and was given a 20-year sentence. Tay Savage ended up serving eight years and was released from prison in March of 2022. Ever since his release, he has been trending all over YouTube and has gained a following and is seen in multiple pics with rappers, gang members, and entangled in social media beef. He's been in multiple interviews for being the individual that allegedly killed Avenue Boys, Bunny and Clyde. Also, Watch Wars hero for sliding for Anthony Welch at True Savage. He's been laying low, staying out the way. However, he recently checked a YouTube blogger for trying to stir his name in some random beef. Listen. You know we smoking bobble on fast, you know that. And who said I'ma die before the summer over with though? Who, said, who the fuck said that though? Yo, get that melody, get that, get that fast, get that gang, you know that. Where you at? I'm for now. Who the fuck said that? Oh yeah, that pussy ass nigga said that. On fast, man. I don't take no nigga serious like that, man. On fast, man. Me more as a goofy on bro grade, nigga. On bro. Tay Savage a rat. Boogie G gay. On fast, man. Me more as he the he 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 twelve too on fast, man. This ass poly two. Tay says hundred the poly two on fast, man. All them niggas goofies, man. On bro. Who the fuck is THF Lil Who the fuck is you on fast? You went out here in these trenches when I was out here in these trenches on fast, man. Goofy ass niggas. Bro, great, nigga. I want all the smoke, nigga. And I'm on full on. I'm always in them trenches every day, nigga. I'm always outside, nigga. Goofy ass niggas. Niggas, the police on fast, bro. I don't be talking to none of these police ass niggas. These police ass niggas just be talking, just be talking on bro. I be laughing at these goofy ass niggas on full on great, nigga. You would never hear no rat shit on my name, though, bro. Ain't no nigga looking for me, you know that. On bro. Again, on top of that, if you OT, you cannot wolf at me. If you not in them trenches, you can't wolf at me at all, brother. At all. 
What up, brother? I noticed you and Tay Savage was going back and forth. I kept seeing like you calling him a rat. What was the reason for you calling him a rat? No time. I know, I know you were going to say that. <laughs> I didn't watch your past interviews. <laughs> because this shit about me, bro. This shit yeah. about... Oh, no, nah, but that is something you said. I wouldn't ask you if you didn't say it, so it that's why. It be like that sometimes, bro. This shit about me, bro. I don't want to talk about no other niggas, bro. I don't even come like that, you know? Yeah. It's your case, gang. Don't do that. Play with me. Don't even ask about no nigga with me, gang. He called you a rat, gang. Did he not? Telling you is what you saying that I took. What did you ask him about? That's like me asking DJ you. Damn. That, but listen, listen. Nigga, hit me out. Hit me out. Right. That's like that. That's like me asking DJ you. Damn. What's up with that rape case with uh with sixteen? Like what the fuck? DJ you. Come on, bro. So if you ask them that, that'd who, be you. Who, who, whoever said it, though. It ain't, whoever it ain't, said it. Like, I think you is. I literally said in the interview, the only person I heard say that shit is you. So that's why I asked him that. I never heard that right. shit. I heard him say that. Yeah, so nah, why, bro. I, when, I, I fuck. I, listen, I like you, bro. On dub. I like you, bro. We ain't never had no problem. I don't even do this, gang. On dub, I don't even do right. that. That shit low-key blew me. Don't ask no goof ass nigga about me, bro, because I ain't going to ask a nigga about you. When we had a problem or whatever you thought, you called me, gang. On dub, bro. I don't, I don't play like that. I was that. saying, if I called you, why you doing the live shit, though? Cause you went, cause you went to that with live. You, you put that on there. Now you when got I, when I, a comment I, under that. You, I, listen, I, hit me out. Hit me I, out. I you got some live shit. Hit me out. This is oh, hit me out. You, what, what I'm, what I'm saying is, you went on YouTube making your, your, your clickbait uh thing. Now you got motherfuckers coming up playing on my name, gang. On dub, but, listen, listen. That's what you said. You, so you, you, you ain't say you 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 was ain't on that calling his girl a linebacker vote and he was calling you right gang. I would have asked you about the linebacker shit too, but like I ain't want to bring his girl into that shit. <laughs> but hey, look, oh, bro, I don't, it look, it look, I don't even talk about I don't even look. I don't even talk about dude goof ass, bro. I ain't getting a motherfucker no type of shout out, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't you he do that, but I don't, I don't say shit to him. It's, but we got look, what we got going on, bro. I don't be putting on the internet because it's it's, it's it's you know like we yeah. we pushing peace out, we pushing peace, bro. But you, I don't look at you like that. You see what I'm saying? So now when you saying that, now I'm looking at you like that on dub on Anthony Ray Wells, nigga. Any motherfucker. Pick up, put a motherfucker on here. Whoever you say, any motherfucker saying I told on anything, nigga, put a but motherfucker you, on here. You said Tag like, a motherfucker I, into anything. I, I, I'm no. not 